All right, what's going on my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm trying to wake you guys up here a little bit in case anyone here is, you know, nodding off a little or doesn't have their energy high up. Welcome to another video. My name is Bijan T. In case, you know, anyone's new here, in case anyone forgot my name. Anyways, uh, let's get into this here. We're going to do a quick trade recap, see how quick we can make it, see if I can meet my little new 10 minute mark that I have been terrible at meeting. Uh, we made a $925 profit today trading SPY. We were trading some puts. Puts means you make money when the stock goes down. We had a little, I call it a mess. It's not really a mess, but you know, whenever I do multiple things at once, I call it a mess. So we made a little bit of a mess today, but at least as I always say, it was a profitable mess. Um, I had two different contracts. They were the same strike, just two different expiration dates. Um, the reason for that doesn't really matter. We'll, trying to meet my 10 minute mark here and that doesn't allow me too much time to you know explain too much because when I explain too much then people complain that I ramble but then when I don't say anything then people are like dude why did you even make the video and I'm like guys I don't know what to do you know what I mean I can't make everybody happy I guess that's life isn't it here I am rambling all right so um I got into it let me just show you guys the chat room because that's actually where it all started at 5 37 in the morning I'm, I'm a bit of an early riser sometimes um so I just said happy Friday, Monday, Friday. What day is it? It's Monday. I lose track of my days. It, it's right in front of me. <laughs> How did I say Friday? Anyways, happy Monday, my friends, blah, 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 blah. I basically said that I'm going to be keeping an eye on SPY around the 320 here. And then everybody else was throwing out their, you know, wonderful commentary as well, which is greatly appreciated. Um, so that's exactly what I was doing. I was watching SPY to get to the 320 area. Once it got to the 320 area, I kind of wanted to see what was going on a little bit, make sure, you know, a little bit of this, a little, little bit of that. Um, and that's where I got in, basically, right around this area. And I built into the position. We're going to go into the orders right now. And then I slowly sold it off towards the end of the day. And I actually wanted to hold some of it overnight, but a little something like a little bird inside of me, a little bird inside of me, a little birdie told me, hey, just there, there's no birdie. I don't want anybody thinking I'm doing like insider trading now or anything. It was just me. My fear sometimes I just don't like holding things overnight because what if this happens? You know what I mean? You never know. We could just make a completely wild gap. There's certain, you know, market conditions where it's, you know, okay to hold certain things overnight. You know, I just didn't feel comfortable holding the spy overnight, although I would have liked to, um, Maybe I'll revisit the trade again tomorrow. So let's jump into the order breakdown here. We'll do all the numbers and then we'll jump into the final commentary and see if we can make the 10 minute mark here. So I got into two different contracts. Uh, one of it was the December 27th. The other one was the December 20th. Now, both of them were a, a decent amount of time, I guess you can say, because there's the 16th, the 18th, and the 20th. Uh, you know, I could have gotten those, but obviously I didn't. Um, and then a bunch in between, too. So that's the ones I did. I'm not saying it for explaining the whole expiration. I'm saying it for the sake of keeping track of everything. Because they were the same strike, so the only way to really keep track of which one we're talking about here is by talking about the 20th or the 27th. So I started in on the 27th. I had 10 contracts for 194. 10 times 194 is 1,940. We don't really have to do too much calculation on that one. Uh, if anyone wonders how I came to that number, if it looks like $1.94, it's because one is equivalent to 100. So one times 194, we had 10 of them. So 10 times 194 uh, is basically what it would be. So 10 times 194 is 1,940. Then about, you know, like five, 10 minutes later, I added in 15 contracts on the other contract, on the other expiration date. Now that one, it's not as easy as a number for people to follow because it's 15. So we'll do a calculation on that 143 times 15. You do that in your phone if you want to, or whatever is 2,145. So we're going to add 2,145 to the 1,940. That gives you 4,085. Then about 15 minutes later, I added in an additional 10 contracts of the first one at 188, which basically brought my average price to like 191. But it would have been 191 times 20, but I don't want to confuse you guys with that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do 10 times 188, which is 1,880, 
we're going to add that 1,880 to the 4,085 that we had. And that gives us 5,965. So this trade basically cost 5,965. This is basically where I built into the position right around this area here. Let me get rid of this line before I get somebody that emails me saying, hey, man, what's that line that you had? It's, it's nothing. It's just an accidental like, you know. No, not the drawing set because that's going to remove my little things. There we go. Perfect. So this is basically where I got into the trade. I started in here, added in right here, and then I added in more right here. And then as we basically went down and... I locked in some of the I locked in 10 contracts of the 15 that I had for the 20th. I locked those in first. Then I locked in the final ones. Um, it that really doesn't matter which one went where, to be honest with you. We're just gonna do the calculation for summing up the profit and everything. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys uh, that as the value of the stock went down, as the value of this went down, the value of our puts went up. So we got in right here. Took some profit here. And then, obviously, I, I was going to hold this until the end of the day. Um, that's partly why I got that expiration as well, as I knew I was going to hold this trade for a while. And I might have even hold it, held, hold it, held it overnight. Uh, but like I said, we'll revisit the trade tomorrow. We'll see what we do with this 320 area again, like I said in the you know initially in the chat. And then let me just go and sum up these numbers for you guys now. It looks like a lot, but it's just some reason they it breaks it up into more ways than it needs to. Like... 12.59, like why? there is no need to break it up into three different things. They all went through at the same exact price at the same exact time. I don't know why it does it, but it just does. So, yeah, I, I just have to deal with it, I guess. So the trade cost 5965 and then I sold 10 of them for 1660 Then I sold another five. For 178 each, which basically equals five times 178, is 890. So we're going to add 890 to the 1,660, which is 2,550. Then I sold the 10 of the December 27th for 214, which is 2,140. So we're going to add the 2,140 to the 2,550, which is 4,690. And then the last contracts, which was 10 more, went through at 220, which was 2,200, which is basically 2,200 right there. So we're going to add 2,200 to the 4,690, I believe it was, which gives us a total of 6,890. We're going to subtract the cost of the trade, which I believe, if my memory recalls correctly, was 5965 which gives us $925, which gives us exactly what we had here, $925 total on the day. Uh, like I said, we traded two different contracts. That's why it's all broken up, and that's why it was a mess. And sometimes these ones, I don't even want to make a video about it, but I figured I wanted to keep myself on track with this. I actually posted this a little bit of it. I didn't even post the 900 I only posted it while it was like while I was still in the trade I posted it on Instagram it was like a $800 profit I was at the car wash actually when it was happening and that's also why I posted it too is because I figured I might not have time to make the video today because I was you know out at the car wash doing a bunch of stuff today but right now I was just updating the watch list for the watch list subscribers and I figured all right you know what I could take 10 minutes of my time to real briefly uh, just do a trade recap here to kind of keep myself in the mood and keep what is it the the Keep my momentum going to make sure I keep trying to make videos as much as I can because you guys know me. I come and I go. I'll try and make as much as I can and then I stop for a while just because I get busy with a bunch of other things or I go traveling or things like that. Uh, but anyway, so that's that, guys. This is where I got in right around this area. I got out here, closed it out by the end of the day, had a nice little $925 profit, and that was pretty much that. So I hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You guys know the deal. Please, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe, hit the thumbs up, check the description and all that. You guys know all that good good that I put down there. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.